I would like to thank all of you for coming here today and helping Rick and I celebrate Oliver's first birthday. We've been able to watch Oliver develop from a helpless newborn into a happy, energetic, and curious toddler who's into everything. My pregnancy with Oliver was a long one. The first half of the pregnancy, I was so sick that I thought I would die. But as you can see, I didn't die, and I am here today. The last half of my pregnancy was even longer. I thought that like my other pregnancies before, I wouldn't get that big. And two to three weeks before my due date, I would have a baby. Oliver was due July 19th, so I thought, mm, 4th of July-ish, I would have him. I even joked that during the parade I would go into labor or maybe the fireworks would scare him out. But the 4th of July came and the 4th of July went. Then the 19th of July came and the 19th of July went. And every day after that I thought that maybe I might be pregnant forever. It was never going to happen. I just had to deal with the fact that I would be pregnant for the rest of my life. Eight days after my due date, Oliver finally came. I was bigger than a house. I could barely move, and so I was very happy that it was time to have him. And, indifferent from my other babies, he was much larger. My other babies were six pound babies, 18, 19 inches long. Oliver was seven and a half, but 23 inches long. The nurse said it was the longest baby that she had ever helped deliver. He immediately bonded with his father, and we all loved him dearly. Oliver came out ahead of his peers. He was rolling over around three months, crawling before he was six months old, walking before he was ten months old. I always joke that the extra time in the oven gave him a little bit of an advantage. Everybody that meets Oliver loves Oliver. He's a smiling kid. He jokes. He loves to make people laugh and thinks it's funny to run and play catch and hide. We love him every day, and I couldn't imagine what life would be like without him. In fact, I don't even remember what it was like before he came. One of my favorite things is watching the bond between him and his father. Rick loves Oliver, and has changed him in from a macho man into a little puddle of love. So thank you everybody for coming here today, celebrating this first birthday of our son, and to many more, we hope to see you every year. Happy birthday, Oliver.